Hi. <clears throat> Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I, I'm, I thought I would do something different because I do a lot of uh, music related reviews on my channel and I thought it'd be nice to do some uh, some movie reviews for a change. So I just grabbed a bunch of my DVDs and Blu-rays and I'll just, you know, kind of give a thorough review of each movie and let me know in the in the comments section below what you think of the movies I'm going to be talking about. So first up we have Napoleon Dynamite on DVD. I don't have it on Blu-ray. And it's a, it's the story of he's like he's like a slacker. He's really uh, uh, bored all the time, and he's he's got a brother who's running for office, and uh, it's really funny. Uh, this is Casino, which which is directed by. Uh, uh, Martin Scorsese and it features of course Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone and Joe Pesky and it's 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 like a follow-up it, it's like it's like Goodfellas but different and it's also you know about the mafia in Las Vegas and at a casino and there's one point in the movie where the guy gets his ham his his hands hammered. That's my favorite part in the movie, and it's a really good movie. Uh, Step Brothers I have on on Blu-ray. It's with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. It's a very funny comedy. It's about these two guys who are step brothers, and they're really kind of uh, spoiled and you know, they're, they're, you'd have to see it. It's really funny. Uh, uh, this is one of my all-time favorite comedy movies, and, and my girlfriend's too. I have a girlfriend. And uh, it's Jim, Jiminy Glick in La La, in La La Wood with Martin Short. It's, it's really funny. I highly recommend it. At some point, I'm hoping my girlfriend and I will do like a, uh, an even more thorough uh, review of this movie on DVD. I don't have it on Blu-ray. Three Amigos, speaking, speaking of Barden Short, Three Amigos with uh, Steve Martin and, and Chevy Chase. And uh, I haven't watched it yet. I've heard it's funny though. I got this on Blu-ray. It's Misery. It's one of my all-time favorite drama movies, and it's the story of this woman here with the with the hammer. Her name's Kathy Bates, and with James Kahn, who's a writer of books, and she she's really obsessed with him and about him. I don't want to go into all of the details, but she. Uh, she kidnaps him and she breaks his legs and he has to finish writing this book and then she's not happy with the way that she, that he wrote the book and it's really it's good one of my favorite comedy uh, comedians or actors in comedy is uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Christopher Guest, and this is one of the funny ones. It's best in show. They do quite a bit of ad libbing. What they do is they have a basic script, and then you know they ad lib stuff too. And Eugene Levy and all that. It's about a dog show, and. It also features uh, uh, like Catherine O'Hara and Fred Willard is really funny in this. He's an, 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 he's an announcer. I'm nervous. And he says a lot of inappropriate things at the dog show. It's just hilarious. 
This isn't a movie. Well, it is a movie, but it's not a movie. It's Elvis Presley's 1968 comeback special. I love Elvis Presley. He is the greatest. He's the greatest entertainer of them all. This is a movie. It's Elvis. That's the way it is, and it's really good. And he is the greatest, greatest live performer. I love Elvis Presley. I, I love Elvis Costello too, but Elvis Costello is not as good of a live performer as Elvis Presley. This is my all-time favorite uh, horror movie, but it's not just a horror movie. It's a comedy horror movie. It is the original Fright Night. I know they remade it uh, just a few years ago, but I don't. I haven't seen it. But I'm sure this this is much better, and it's with. Uh, Chris Sarandon and uh, Roddy McDowell, and it is it it's it's a movie from the '80s, but the special effects still hold up today, and there are some scary scenes and just some really entertaining scenes in the movie, and scary and funny. I hope I sold you on that movie. Every time I see this cover, I just laugh. It's Dumb and Dumber, the original, with Jim Carrey and uh, uh, Jeff Daniels. And they play two really stupid guys. And it's, it's hilarious. You think my comedy videos are funny on my YouTube channel. This is just as funny. This is a true classic, and it is truly one of my all-time favorite movies, The Wizard of Oz. I'm sure most people have seen it, but if you haven't, it is... The story is... Uh, Dorothy uh, is in a tornado, and then the house goes up in the air, and it lands, and then she's in The Wizard of Oz, and the story is of her trying to get back home. I don't want to give too much more away with it, but it is. It's, it's, and it's on Blu-ray. The 40-year-old virgin with Steve Carell from The Office. I love The Office. It's one of my all-time favorite TV shows, although I didn't watch it until it was on Netflix. I didn't watch it when it was on the Netflix. And the 40-year-old virgin, this is the DVD of it, and it is just, he plays the character so well that you can tell in the movie that he really is a virgin. I mean, not Steve Carell. I mean the character he's playing. You know when he's in the movie, you can just point at the screen and say, that guy's a virgin. Another really hilarious movie, he did three of these. And the first two are my favorites. They are, and th well, this one, I don't have, I, ha I have the other two over there. This is Mike Myers, The Spy Who Shaved Me. And it is really funny. He, and then he plays uh, uh, Dr. Evil, that's his name. I forgot his name. He's the bald guy. And he's the same guy as this guy, in case he didn't know. Austin, not Austin Powers, uh, Mike Myers. And uh, yeah, it is really funny. I hope I'm selling you on some of these movies. Carrie, talking about horror movies, Carrie is a horror movie from the 70s, and it really is scary. Uh, the last scene, especially, uh, when she's at her prom and she's, I think she's giving a speech and then they dump blood all over, right there, it's showing right there, that, that's blood pouring all over her head and it's really gory and red and uh, then she freaks out and that's the end of the movie. It's really good. <clears throat> 
th this is not my movie. This is my girlfriend's movie that she she made me watch. I I don't watch it. I don't watch it without her. This is a twofer. That means two movies in one, but on separate. No, they're on the same disc. The same disc, but they're separated. It is uh, Edgar Wright who directed Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. They are both really, really good. And did you know that Edgar Wright is has produced a new movie? It's a documentary on one of my all-time favorite bands, Sparks. It's called The Sparks Brothers. It's coming to theaters in, in the United States and Canada, which is where I am, uh, on June 18th. But this, this isn't Sparks, this is Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. But yeah, lots of action, lots of comedy, and it's really well put together. This is another one of my all-time favorite movies. It is a Blu-ray of Deliverance with John Voight and Burt Reynolds. This was his first big movie. This is on Blu-ray. Did he say that? And it is really suspenseful and really good. And there's this one scene where, uh, yeah, where Ned Beatty, he, uh, where he has to squeal, is all I can really say. And, uh, It's kind of disturbing. It's my favorite part of the movie, though. 2001, A Space Odyssey, a true classic that was made, I believe, in 1970. I've had this Blu-ray for probably over five years. I, I have yet to watch 2001, A Space Odyssey. And maybe someday on my channel, I'll watch it. Not on my channel, but I mean I'll watch it and then I will do a review of it on my channel. The Omen is another very scary movie from the uh, 70s. It's really well done. Uh, there's there's a, a part where this priest gets a pole. It goes right through his body and that it's so gruesome and... Uh, it's kind of funny, though, too, because the first time I saw it, I laughed. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, sorry. Tonight, I'm, I'm probably going to watch uh, Fright Night and Bridesmaid. I mean, uh, Fright Night Fright Night and Dumb and Dumber, and because uh, I haven't seen those two movies in quite a while. So, that's it. That is my thorough movie review for just a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays that I've watched, except for Bridesmaid, which I've only watched with my girlfriend, as I mentioned before. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.